Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog and another video. So I've got big news here I just wanted to share with you. And I think this is this, I think, sounds like is definitely going to be best bet. And probably the one, probably the one only, only thing or only guaranteed way that that we can um uh, that that um uh, that that stuff can curb the coronavirus and stuff. Governor Governor Andrew Cuomo, Governor Andrew Cuomo is shutting down New York, shutting down New York on Sunday. Shutting down New York, sh shutting, shutting, shut, shutting down, shut, sh shutting down New, shutting down New York on Sunday. Governor Andrew, Governor Andrew Cuomo, Governor, Governor Andrew Cuomo is shutting down New York, is shutting down New York on Sunday to stop coronavirus. Here's what, the, here's what that means. New York is effectively shutting down as of Sunday. Governor Andrew Cuomo announced Friday at at his daily press conference. Cuomo will sign an executive order putting the state on pause, the most drastic measure he's taken so far to curb the spread of coronavirus before confirmed cases overwhelm the state's medical system. Over 7,000 one, over 7,102 cases have been confirmed statewide. Man, that's that's probably probably way too much, probably. And so this is probably kind of a good thing, probably you know for 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 the entire state's own good, you know to you know against the one. It's the one and all. It's pretty much probably the one and only guaranteed way. That that um uh, that that things um uh, that that things uh, soon enough, eventually, hopefully, pretty soon, will settle down a little bit. Um, and then on top of that, um, uh, again, over seven thousand one hundred two cases have been confirmed statewide, compared to four thousand one hundred and fifty two. Just just one day ago, just a day, just a day prior of those four thousand four hundred and of those four thousand four hundred and eight cases of those four hundred of, of those four thousand four hundred and eight cases are in New York City, which doubted from the previous day. About eighteen percent of those cases have required hospitalization. All right, um, Cuomo direct. Cuomo, Cuomo directed, Cuomo directly, Cuomo directly attributed the increase in cases more to, to to more testing. Still, he said the terms of the shutdown are legal mandates that would be that would be enforced. Violators could face consequences such as fines. The new the new rules include non-essential gatherings of any size are banned. People are not allowed to gather in groups outside of their homes, with the exception of essential workers. In public, people, ha people have to stay at least six feet away or more from each other. All non-essential businesses have to have 100% uh, have have of their employees working from home. Limit all outdoor recreational activities to, to non-contact uh, and avoid activities that put you in close contact with other people. Seniors over the age of 70 and those with un underly underlying illnesses must remain indoors, except if they want to go outside for solitary exercise. Anyone coming into contact with seniors or people with underlying illnesses should wear a mask where possible. Vulner vulnerable groups should not visit households where multiple people where, where where multiple people live, young people should avoid coming into contact. Young people should, young people should avoid coming into contact with vulnerable, with, with vulnerable people. Cuomo rejected the language "shelter in place" because he said those were terms in, in the context of an active shooter incident, an, an, an active shooter incident, or a possible nuclear attack. He previously ruled out such. A declaration in New York City, despite Mayor Bill 
de Blasio repeatedly calling for one. Um, the biggest challenge facing New York is the lack of ventilators, Cuomo stressed again. Ventilators are are to this war what what missiles were to 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 World War to World War II. Um, uh, last last um, last paragraph I'll read you. New York, the current American epicenter of coronavirus, is expected to need around thirty thousand additional ventilators. He said that if anyone or any health department has a has a has a ventilator, machines that help people breathe when they can't when 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 they can't on their own that they are not currently using, they they are under an order from the Department of Health uh, Department of Health to 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 make it available. All right, so that's all right. That's as much as I'll read to you on that, but you know, you know, I think that as challenging it, as challenging it, as challenging it, as as challenging as it's going to be for a while, I think this is best bet and probably probably the one and pretty much only guaranteed way that that um uh, that that um, uh, things will soon enough settle down with um, uh, you know the coronavirus situation and you know you know it's 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 going to be i think probably the only way it, it's probably going to be the only one and only guaranteed way that um uh, that that stuff can curb that stuff can curb the coronavirus situation so i you know again when when they go back to saying about you know limiting outdoor recreational activities and stuff like of course we obviously can still go for like walks around the block or something but just you know be sure to be sure to try really really hard to 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 minimize the amount of time and minimize minimize the duration of 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 doing it also and i'm i'm pretty much thinking that yesterday might have been kind of our last hurrah not for good not forever not for good but our last hurrah for for a while or at least a little while with going to parrington park yesterday and i'm kind of thinking we we, we might have to pass tomorrow kind of you know We'll, we'll we'll see. I guess we'll just see how we feel at the end of the day today, or uh, late tonight before before we go before we go to bed, or first thing in the morning when we first get up, first thing in the morning. But you know, I think it would probably be best bet me to to maybe just pass for tomorrow. Um, again, we know that we ain't got to stop going there for good or forever yesterday definitely was not going to be our last hurrah for good forever or for good but for a while or at least a little while all right um but yeah i think you know once again as tough as it is as challenging as it is as painful as it is for for him to do so i think i think governor cromo's got to do What's the one and only guaranteed way to curb the to to curb the to curb the coronavirus situation throughout New York State? Quick look outside. Uh, right now, I, I said we had high wind in the forecast for today. It's not looking too entirely bad. Trees are moving a good bit. Trees are trees are moving a good bit, but it's not as serious. As, as at first it sounded like it was going to be. There is some stuff in the edge of our woods moving a little bit. We had a little bit of a rain shower early early this morning. But it's all let up. Yep, trees are still moving pretty good. They said high wind watch in effect from 6 o'clock this morning till 6 o'clock p.m. Again, it's not as bad as they said it was going to be. All right, that's as far as we're going to bring the vlog in the video. Leave a comment down below what you think, and we'll talk to you later.